We are on the line at the finish of day three, 2023 Cup Sani to see with the overall winners and second on the stage, Matt Beers, Tristan Oki of Toyota Specialized. It's been a hard four three days, guys. Definitely not an easy ride, but you've pulled off a win. The team is just gelling super, super well. You showed what you made of. Matt, how's the how's this Sani been for you? It's been great. It's always great. Um, it was uh, weird to miss it last year, but um, to be back here is really cool. And um, yeah, you always forget how fast the racing is, and like it's it's so hard to get away. Or now that the levels up, you know, in the in the SA racing, um, which is great to see. And um, yeah, it just makes for super exciting racing and um, a lot of tactics and mind game so it's good certainly today we saw uh, some some strong moves on the climbs there was they're very closely contended at one moment you're a little bit off the the back mat but i'm assuming you're just letting them go because you would be able to roll on to as things uh, flatten out how was the intensity out there today trust yeah i know in buko certainly put on the hammer in the beginning and then yeah they on the one climb they went quite hard and Matt just pulled up on the side and smiled i was like you okay we already on like 600 watts and he's smiling but yeah it was fast fast racing out there they certainly played the cards and yeah it's it's good to see the level is that high in SA and keeps the racing exciting walk us through that uh, attack by marco towards the, the end coming into the finish how are you guys tactically trying to trying to manage that he obviously went off the front and it was vessel that he needed to block from uh, crossing the line first yeah um, actually there was quite a tricky uphill section and my gears weren't right and I don't want to break the chain and Marco got a gap and then yeah they just saw it and he went off and then yeah we, we knew we had two and a half minutes so it wasn't too too much of a stress so we try to, to make it exciting, but yeah, happy to take the overall. Awesome. Now, uh, Matt, you guys, uh, you let Vessel get away on the on the finish line straight there. It's a tough sprint up the grass. Yeah, um, it's like, a, it's always a tricky card to play. You don't really know what you want to, if you want to like celebrate the win or just grovel a full sprint. <laughs> um, so yeah, we, we could see like, okay, you know, let's rather just celebrate and take it in and um, yeah, we decided that, but they rode a great race at the end tactically. It makes it exciting for everyone to watch, and um, yeah, that's what matters. And um, glad everyone could get the best out of it. No, I think kudos to both teams. You guys raced a phenomenal last stage. It was exciting, and I think it finished finished beautifully. Uh, where, where's it on to next for you for you both? Just you can kick off. Yeah, next weekend we're doing race to the sun. So yeah, hopefully we can do a good one there, and then the weekend after that. That I'm flying to Europe for a few racing there, so yeah. Matt, uh, any uh, foreign excursions in the near future? Yeah, same. Uh, um, so I race to the sun and then I head off to the USA for Unbound and uh, the Lifetime Series for a month and a bit. And then I come back, world champs, and then I go back to the US again. So yeah, it's a busy schedule for the rest of the year. Awesome. Well, hopefully you guys bring back some big trophies for us. Well done. Amazing racing this week. It's been a great show. Thank All you. the best. First on the stage for day three and second overall after a monumental three days of battling it out against the Toyota Specialized crew of Matt Beers and Tristan Okia, Vessel Berta, Mark Ube. You guys left it all out there on the stage today. Yeah, definitely. I think um, yeah, we gave it everything today, took the stage win, did what we had to do. Um, it was always going to be tough to beat Matt and Tristan, but I think we gave a good showing and really took the race head on and um, we got we won two of the two out of the three stages so yeah, I think our sponsors can be happy <laughs> certainly so you guys looked actually very evenly matched out there there was a there was a big margin put in yesterday but uh, there was some unfortunate mechanicals Vessel how did you guys feel you, you compared with the Toyota crew this weekend yeah I think um, we were pretty similar today stage was nothing between us really um, we tried every hole try and get a gap but even on the downhills tried to push a little bit but yeah super evenly matched they got the better of us yesterday but like Marcus said taking two stage wins we're super happy of our performance
I even saw a moment where Matt Beers was off the bunch a little bit on a on a on a pinch climb. It looked like some proper attacks that you guys were just trying to make any opportunity you could. Yeah, it was our game plan today to just try put them into a situation where they're on the back foot. Um, and yeah, I think we can take confidence from the ride we did today, um, leaving it all out there and just yeah, taking every section head on, full gas. <laughs> Walk us through that uh, sneaky end sprint. You just launched off the off the front coming in a couple of k's from the finish yeah um mountain bike racing it's so hard to plan something and then stick to the plan so it's all about like taking opportunities and i had a little bit of a gap on a single track and then i drilled it a bit to see if the gap would open up and it did and then i sort of like yeah I was like oh damn it now I have to commit you know <laughs> um, and yeah I just put my head down and then it was a headwind and yeah it was super painful but yeah I'm and glad then, it paid off and then it was all up to Vessel to, to out sprint the Toyota crew how was that uh, big drag up the grass yeah I know Marco made it easy for me I only had to beat one of them and could sit nice slip to a finish so yeah actually it was not a bad sprint and yeah happy to finish it off with a stage win <laughs> yeah beautiful racer guys what's uh, what's up next for you guys on the on the calendar um, I'm actually going over to Europe doing some a stage race in Belgium and then a marathon World Cup in Italy and yeah I think Vessels hooking the gravel series here in SA. Awesome yeah. stuff. First uh, year that there's a mountain bike marathon World Cup so it's going to be awesome to see you see you out there Marku. Finale Liguri. Beautiful place to ride bicycles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so all the best. Beautiful racing this week. It has been, it's been awesome to watch as, as usual. Thanks guys. Thank you. <laughs> Turns out my face is quite dusty and it's been a spectacular day of racing. The Insect Science crew of Keegan Bontkuning and Anu de Toy coming away with third overall at the 2023 Cups on your seat and a third and a half maybe between three and four with the Mbuku Type Dev 2 across the finish line today. Guys, walk us through today's racing. It looked like the intensity was there. Um, there was almost a bit of a separation of the, the group early on and then and then things got together again. Yeah, the started really aggressive and super dusty at the start. Uh, the pace was quite high and then kind of calmed down for a bit and yeah then the first climb separated it to the first four teams and Mbuka were on and off the back the second team and yeah just kind of negative racing every now and then and then yeah got to the first main the was it the main climb i don't know what climb is it called <laughs> and yeah just bunch the, yeah just didn't quite have it in the end oh yeah marco made it super hard to um the first water point like Matt attacked, then uh, Marco counted, and then I was a bit on the back foot there, but I kind of knew it was going to descend, so kind of just got sure. back in the bunch. That's, and... that's what they all say. And yeah. Keegan, was, he looked like he was slacking out there today. I've set you up for this one. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I, just, I knew it was going to go there at um, about the halfway mark. Uh, yeah, it was quite tactical between Mbuko and Toyota Specialized. And, yeah, they sort of looking at each other, so it was very on and off early on, and then once we were off, it was sort of on, it seemed like. Yeah, so for quite a while, we were just like grinding it to try and get back, and we came close, and then I saw Matt go to the front, and it just opened up again. Like, so, so a little tear. For us yeah, as well. That was a bit frustrating, and then to put the cherry on the cake, we had Imbuka too following us again, so yeah, not in a great position, but yeah. Because you guys managed to shake them uh, early on in the race and then they came back onto you. What did uh, things look like in the last couple of kilometers with them? Was it quite a tactical uh, play in coming into the finish? Yeah, so before it split up, I thought we didn't really need to do much. We maybe sit and wait and wait for opportunity close to the end to try and get a stage win. And, yeah, they were also, like I said, very tactical to try and get away. But yeah, it didn't seem like Mbuka had the horsepower to really uh, shake them off. So. Yeah, tactical, like I said, we sort of waited and then, yeah, unfortunately couldn't go with them, so it was a bit useless, but anyway, yeah, it was a good battle. Fantastic. Geeks, where, where is it uh, to next for you guys? What's next on the on the calendar? Yeah, well, Arnu is now on paternity leave, so <laughs> when Arnu is on paternity leave, then I'm on paternity leave. <laughs> so, <Fair enough. laughs> You're allowed to keep on training, you know that. Oh, no, I think I'll take a bit of a rest. It's been quite a long season now, and yeah, I think probably build up to so second half of the year stage racing and yeah that's it interesting are really exciting times for you got a, a young one on the way is this the first yeah first little young girl coming up so 
yeah, it's a new phase and really looking forward to that. So, yeah, we'll take a bit of time off the bike and just focus on the family life and, yeah, really looking forward to that. Awesome. Well, we look forward to seeing you guys come back strong and uh, also with the, with the family and some more sport and another fan to, to cheer you on at the, at the races. Sure. Guys, great racing this week. It's been awesome to watch. Always a, always a pleasure seeing you guys out on the bikes and we'll, we'll see you after a little bit of a break. Yeah, definitely. Thank you.